Hi, we're back in Fusion 360, and we're going to be taking a look at the Sweep tool. So uh, what we need for the Sweep tool is we need a path and a profile. So uh, the Sweep tool, uh, we need a path on one plane and a uh, profile on a plane that is perpendicular to that. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to achieve this. So we're going to need to use two sketches. So we have our first sketch here. And this is going to be our path. And we're going to just going to create kind of a loose spline here. So, so, and you'll see why we need it loose in just a second. So, and I'm clicking on the mouse to drag up there. Okay, so here we have our spline. Uh, notice, that, uh, notice that it is kind of loose there. Uh, and I'm going to purposefully make it loose. And you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, so there we, uh, there we have our path. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create a, uh, a profile that intersects that path. So we're going to go ahead and create a new sketch. We're going to select the, a plane that is perpendicular to the plane of our profile. And here you can see if we, if we click and drag the cube that our path is now perpendicular to the sketch we're working on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a... a um, a sketch that intersects that uh, plane, or sorry, that path. Okay, and we're just going to create, uh, um, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to create a simple uh, sketch here. And we're going to go ahead and click Finish Sketch. Okay, so here, what, here's what we have. If we go ahead and zoom in, we have a sketch which now intersects our path. So we can see that the path goes through right through this, the, sorry, the, we have a closed two-dimensional area with a path going directly through it. So now we're going to go ahead to create and we're going to click uh, sweep. And we're going to go ahead and click the profile and then we're going to click the path to sweep along. Okay, if we see our, uh, if we see our, um, preview, we know that it was, the program was able to solve the sweep, and we should be just fine. Notice that we can define a taper angle, for example, 5 degrees. We can, uh, we can define a twist angle, for example, say, whoop, 180 degrees. So notice that what happened when I changed this twist angle to 180 degrees. What happened was is our, pro, is our preview disappeared. So if anything gets in the way of Fusion 360 solving the sweep, which means that creating the sweep, uh, then what will happen is, is your preview will disappear. So let's say if we change if we change this to 90, we still get an error. 60, 60, it was able to solve it. Most of the time, the error is when the, when the uh, 3D object runs into itself. So basically what happened there probably is that the, 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 as it was sweeping that two-dimensional area along the path, that basically it ended up running into itself. So self-intersection is a very, uh, very common uh, reason that it wouldn't be able to solve the sweep. Okay, so there is our sweep. It's very useful for creating all kinds of different shapes um, along a path. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to go ahead into our bodies. We're going to right click on body and uh, create components from bodies. So now we have our component. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a physical material. And in this case, we're going to go with gold. All right, so there we have it. We have our sweep. Uh, in Fusion 360. Best of luck.